What's going on guys, my name is AK, back again with another YouTube video. Now you know, I was just minding my business, playing a bit of league play and uh, finished my placement games for the season, and then this happened. <coughs> now I'm not being funny, I haven't been out of Masters since the first, I think I got expert in the first season because all the ladders were messed around, but since then uh, I've been Masters and literally haven't come out of it once until now. Now I have a few reasons for this which I'll get into in the video, but uh, hopefully in today's video we'll be showing Triarch that we are a Masters level player, we'll be hopping into some league play, hopefully destroying the elite level lo lobbies, although from the few games that I have played already today, uh, I'm pretty much only getting Masters anyway, so uh, I assume we will be back in Masters next season, but hopefully uh, in today's gameplay we can prove that to them. Now I'm going to do the gameplay sort of uh, as I play it through, but as well as sort of explain what I'm doing, so hopefully you guys that want to improve uh, can sort of see a little bit of my, uh, my thought process going into the game, how I play it, uh, and hopefully that will be very useful for you. If you do end up enjoying today's video, be sure to drop a like, and let's get straight into it. So we managed to find a game, we got a checkmate hardpoint, you love to see it, and uh, just from the pre-game thing, I saw that we've got quite a few masters in here, so it must still rank me high enough to uh, to put me in the lobbies with the masters, yeah, we've got one, two, three, uh, six of them, and uh, and two elites, so hopefully hopefully it should be a good game, uh, I'm hoping we win, I've been playing league play for quite a while, but the amount of games I've had uh, of people leaving and, uh, and and things like that, and a few of them have just descended into chaos in terms of, uh, in terms of GAs, we had quite a few people pulling out uh, like thermal AKs and things like that, which is not always... Not always what you want to be seeing in league play, but you know we uh, we've played through, and hopefully, hopefully this will be a good one in uh, in terms of gameplay, and uh, and hopefully we can do, hopefully we can do pretty well. Now I know you guys probably want to know what um what I think the reasons for my demotion to elite uh, this season was, and uh, I think my main one, or uh, sort of the explanation that uh, I'm hoping it is, is that I've been playing a lot with like subscribers and people from my Discord recently, and uh, and they're sort of in. Uh, I don't know, like elite and uh, an expert and a few in advanced and, and don't get me wrong, I'd much rather play with them than play League Play by myself, like it's, it's much more fun playing with them, um, but at the same time I think the way the League Play ranking system works is actually it takes into account uh, sort of who you've been playing against, um, so uh, quite a lot of the lobbies I've been playing against have been full of experts and, uh, and, and elite players which um, I mean, I'm a Masters player, I, I, know, I know that's my skill level, so uh, for that reason uh, I, I do very well in these lobbies, so I think it's a little bit unfair um, that because I'm a master and uh, and playing in uh, sort of that level lobbies, it then doesn't rank me as high. Because I'm pretty sure uh, if a if a master level player plays in a master lobby and does okay, they're going to stay in master because that is their that's their skill level. But if a, if a master level player goes into an expert lobby and absolutely destroys, uh, chances are they're going to get ranked lower just because uh, it doesn't know how good you are. It only knows that you're better than an, uh, better than an expert or better than a, uh, whatever sort of level you're playing at. So I guess uh, we'll have to wait and see how that um, that turns out. Maybe if I play a little bit more by my, uh, sort of by myself and, uh, and let it do some, do some league play ranking on me by myself, then that should cancel it out, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'd much rather play people uh, play with people if it means that I have to be uh, be an elite uh, than if I uh, if I have to play sort of by myself to keep myself in master. That's uh, that's not always fun. I'm sure you guys know that playing league play by yourself is a uh, is a rough one. Not always not always the most enjoyable. But anyway, we need to try and uh, sort of predict where they're spawning. I think they're probably still going to be spawning by the yellow crate for P2. Don't know if we uh, we push them out of there. Yeah, I think they got splits there. I think one guy spawned P5 and one by the yellow crate. I think that's like the last thing that you want on this hill, getting uh, getting split spawns, because it's very easy for you to get sort of pinched from both sides then, and uh, and if you get pinched, you're probably uh, you're probably going to lose the hill. So sometimes actually coming off respawn uh, is actually quite helpful for breaking hard points, especially open ones like uh, like that P3 there. Wow. Now we have flipped the spawns back to this side. Now that's not too much of a problem, just because this hard point it doesn't really matter where you're spawning. If you just want to. Uh, you just want to be locking down the hard point again. Sort of the side that you're on doesn't doesn't actually matter. But I think uh, I think we're going to try and flip the spawns during the uh, sort of the playthrough of the next the next hill uh, because we do want the spawns on the uh, the red tower side going into uh, into the next hard point. So we'll try and flip that. But we're uh, we're not in any hurry. Might have already done it actually. But yeah, we did manage to get the spawns. Going to uh, just try and post up, see if we can pick up a few kills that. Uh, Gives us the pressure to push up. I think the teammates have got a few, but if we try and play this angle here, can normally uh, sort of try and trap them in the back. Ah, oh, very, very close. I think he's one shot there. Teammates doing well though, picking up the kills. Gonna try and play around the right side. It doesn't really matter if we flip spawns, just because uh, sort of for P1 it doesn't really matter. We would ha then have to try and flip them back uh, going into P2, but that's uh, that's something we can do. Just uh, get that 15 second scrap time, quite quite big. Can we shoot them through the hole? 
A lot of people don't realize there's a very tight sort of slit between the boxes and uh, the rest of the hard point that you can actually sort of sit between if, if you're playing in the hard point. I'll quickly, uh, I'll quickly show you the spot now. So yeah, if you're playing in this, uh, this hard point here and there's someone in the door, you can actually shoot through there. A very nice tight angle. Not many people know about it, but you know, do that, do that to someone and, uh, and confuse them. Annoyingly, we are like 40 points behind. We're going to try and make that back, you know. Get some uh, get some hill pressure. I don't know if uh, the rest of the team are doing amazing in the in the whole hill department. I'm trying my best to uh, support them with with getting kills, but it's uh, it's quite hard. Uh, you can't really go around uh, dropping uh, dropping three and four pieces everywhere in in masters. Do you, you do have to try and sort of play it a little bit more a little bit more tactical. Uh, try and play the game how it's meant to be played. I mean, like it comes to it. There's there's levels to it. Like there's there's some masters players that uh, I can sort of do that too and there's some masters players that i can't it just sort of depends on uh, the level of the level of the uh, players in uh, whatever game i'm playing so have to uh, have to wait and see but it looks like we do have the rotations here i'm gonna hit all the way to the back just in case they have any players uh, that's worth sacrificing a little bit of hill time for you know hitting all the way out to the back and there we uh, secure the teams for our, uh, the spawns for our team there so big play if that's how uh, you want to you want to be careful with spawns making sure that um you hit all the way to the back you know securing the spawns Otherwise, yeah, players can flank round and then uh, and then actually kill you. There we are, just soaking up all this time. We're uh, by the time this is done, it's going to be a, a ten point game. You know, only only ten points in it, nice and close. That's how we like to see it. We don't we don't like blowouts. We don't like people leaving. We uh, we like nice close games. That's what it's that's what it's all about. You know, if you're going to play league play, you want it to be close. You want it to be competitive. That's uh, that's sort of what that's sort of what you're looking for. Now again, we're going to try and read the spawns. There's a lot of spawns sort of towards the uh, the P5 side of this hill, so uh, we can actually play this and uh, and try and predict those. Now, that guy's one shot, but so am I. So but anyway, we're probably going to pick up the rest of that scrap, hopefully, and uh, then we can sort of look towards the next hard point. Uh, do they have a setup already? I have one player there, but might have uh, might have secured the rotation for us. Is he going to pick the the boxes heady? I think that's four dead actually. <laughs> Nothing better than pre-fire in that corner, you know. Get the uh, get the easy kills. Alright, let's see if we still got spawns. I don't know if we do. We have oh yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, we have a player hit through to the back. That's actually a big play. Uh, hit through to the back, secure the spawns. Uh, you can give up. You can give up the initial time. You see what I did on uh, on P2. You can give up that initial time if it means uh, that you get the spawns because you can then break that after five ten seconds uh, and then you manage to well, provided you can hold your setup, get the rest of the uh, get the rest of the time. So if you can. Give that a try and uh, and do that. Where did that player go? Yeah, I didn't I didn't think he'd been killed. You got to try and sort of like track the name. So I saw I saw Hermes and then uh, you're sort of watching the kill feed nice and closely. To see if uh, see if the name Hermes comes up. Well, if, see if he's killed in the kill feed. Uh, and then if he is, you know, you don't have to sort of worry about tracking that. But yeah, if you uh, if you don't have the names turned on, because I know some people play with the names turned off. Uh, that's definitely uh, that's definitely not the way to do it. You want to uh, you want to know who you're killing and when. And I think that wins the game so we went about double positive pretty good and uh yeah it was a close game but we uh sort of t uh, took the lead on the uh, on p's four and five there towards the end of that second rotation so good game i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh hopefully triac will see that see that we're good and we'll be back up in masters for next season but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to drop a like and i'll see you in the next one have a good one